You work for a medium to large size company that is in the market for a new phone system. And you've heard of Ring Central, and you've heard of Microsoft Teams phone system. But you're wondering, are either of these a good fit for medium to large size companies like ours? And are there things about them that might make them not such a good fit? And how do they compare to one another? Maybe, hey, maybe we wanna go with one or the other. Which one should we go with? Those are all great questions. Those are two of the biggest names in cloud phone systems in today's day and age. So great idea, great thought. In this video, I'm gonna cover that. I'm gonna compare Ring Central to Microsoft Teams phone system in the areas of cost, footprint, features, integrations, and administrative capabilities. But before I get to that, if you want a shortcut, hey, watch this video, that's great and everything. But if you wanna quickly get to the right vendors your company should be quoting for a new phone system, reach out and contact me. Send me an email, give me a call. I will help your company make a lot better decision in a fraction of the time. More information on that at the end of the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my weekly, sometimes bi-weekly videos. And like the video, ring the bell, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what other questions you have or what other technologies you'd like me to do an educational video on. All right, so what are the differences between Ring Central and Microsoft Teams phone system when it comes to cloud-based phone systems? We're gonna jump into it. You know, this video though, I just wanted to let you know is really geared for medium to large size companies. If you're a small business, some of these differences might apply to you as well, but my specialty is medium to large size businesses. That's who I work with the most, so that's where my area of expertise is. So that's what I'm gonna focus on in this video. So let's talk about cost. Well, if your company has a Microsoft 365 E5 license, then Microsoft Teams phone system wins when it comes to cost. They're gonna be the lowest price. If you want more information on, on price of Microsoft Teams phone system, watch my video that covers the cost of Microsoft Teams phone system. But if your company does not have an E5 license, then it's really a tie. Microsoft Teams phone system and Ring Central are going to cost about the same, which is I'd say in the range of 10 to $15 per month, per user, depending on the size of your company, depending on the features that your company needs, all that good stuff. So cost is about the same unless your company has an E5 license, and if so, then Teams phone system is lower cost. Footprint. Let's say your company has a global fo footprint. You have locations all over the United States, all over the world. Is that gonna be an issue with either of these? Well, it's not. Both Ring Central and Microsoft Teams phone system have a global footprint some of the largest footprints of the industry. So I would say that's a tie between Ring Central and Microsoft Teams phone system. Neither one of them gets an edge. However, if your company is located in some obscure places, you might wanna reach out to me and let me know the location of those specific sites and maybe one provider versus the other has an edge. Features, which of the two has better features. Well, Ring Central wins this one, hands down. Microsoft Teams phone system does have a lot of feature gaps. If you wanna know which feature gaps specifically, watch my other video that describes the feature gaps of Microsoft Teams phone system, but essentially things like call center, call reporting and analytics, SMS texting, reception console, things like that, uh, call recording, always on rec call recording, things like that, Teams phone system does not have. So Microsoft Teams phone system is not the best when it comes to features. Ring Central's the best. Who has better integrations? So let's assume your company has a CRM like Salesforce or an ERP software like SQL or Oracle. You know, which of the two can integrate best with third-party software like HubSpot, Salesforce, all those? Well, Ring Central wins this one again. The reason why is Microsoft Teams phone system does not have open APIs. They don't allow access to all their APIs, where Ring Central does. Ring Central has a ton of pre-built integrations 
and open API so you can integrate with any CTI integration with any cloud-based software that your company is using. So integrations definitely better with RingCentral over Microsoft Teams phone system. In addition, when it comes to integrations, one thing you should know, RingCentral can actually embed their dialer inside Teams. It's called their Teams Dialer plugin. And so you can actually use Ring Central inside of Microsoft Teams, but you can't use Teams inside of the Ring Central app. So just a little twist there. And lastly, what about administrative features or administration of the phone system? So this is where your guys' feature set comes in. So who's gonna be administering the phone system? How easy is it to administer the phone system? Well, Ring Central wins this one as well. If you look at my video on the review of Microsoft Teams phone system for 2024 or 2023, I'm about to do one for 2024, you'll see that administering Microsoft Teams phone system is not as easy as other cloud PBX solutions like RingCentral. So just, and what I mean by that, just to give you some specifics, like for instance, when you add a an auto tenant or a call queue to Microsoft Teams phone system. It's like a three-step process. First, you have to set up the call queue. Then you have to set up a resource account. Then you have to take a phone number and assign it to the resource account. So it's not just one seamless process of, hey, like with Ring Central, if I wanna add an auto tenant or a call queue, it walks me through the step process step by step and ask me for each one of those things along the way. I don't have to go back and create these things in separate processes. That's just one example. But overall, if you've been inside the Microsoft admin portal for 365, you know what I'm talking about. First, there's a portal for 365. Then you got to go to the portal for Teams. Then within Teams, you've got to click the voice services. So it's just a little bit more cumbersome. There's more steps to it. It's a little bit more confusing to administer Microsoft Teams phone system as opposed to Ring Central. Ring Central's ironed out a lot of that stuff over the years. They've been around a long time. So Ring Central wins when it comes to which system is easier to administer. So if you've kept score, you can see that Ring Central wins when it comes to the score, right? In, according to my evaluation. So you're thinking, I guess Ring Central's better. Hold on. That's not necessarily the case. Really, it depends on your company's requirements. So say your company has an E5 license and you don't need any of those features and the administrative part doesn't really bother you a whole lot and you have thousands of employees and they're all using Teams religiously today. Well, that'd be a hard decision to go with Ring Central for that type of situation. So it, it just kind of depends on your company and the needs that you guys have, but the main thing is if you're going to Microsoft Teams phone system, you really want to look into an Operator Connect provider. There's a lot of providers out there that do Operator Connect, and that's how you're going to get a lower price on Microsoft Teams phone system to begin with. So I'd look at Operator Connect for Microsoft Teams phone system or Ring Central, but either one, if you want to look at either of those things, don't just call them up, don't just look them up on the internet and get assigned to a random rep. Reach out and contact me. In fact, contact me if your company is in the market for a cloud phone system at all. The reason why is I'm a broker for all the major cloud phone system service providers, all the Operator Connect providers for Microsoft Teams phone system, and I've been doing this for over 20 years. So based on your company's requirements, I can tell you which vendors you should be quoting. I can introduce you to the best salespeople to work with at those organizations. I can also oversee the quoting process to make sure you get the best pricing on the technology, on the vendor of your choice. So overall, I will help your company make a lot better decision in a fraction of the time. And if you're wondering how much I charge, that's the nice thing is I don't charge your company a dime for my services. The service providers actually pay me my broker fee, so you don't have to pay me anything. So there's no excuse to at least not reach out and get my opinion on which vendors your company should be quoting today. All right, well, I hope you found the video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos that I release at least once a week. And if you like the video, hit the like button, ring the bell, and leave a comment down below, I'd really appreciate it. All right, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.